Greetings from St. Joan of Arc Parish School. I'm in the hallway of the junior high. All the students have gone home, and in the quiet of this place, I find myself wondering, what would my reaction have been, or yours for that matter, if a year ago someone would have said in March of 2020, we would all be wearing masks as a regular practice? And what if that same person would also have said, your students would be wearing masks all day, spaced out in their classrooms, and only after their temperatures have been taken and their hands sanitized, always with that ever looming possibility that with very short notice, we could be quarantined, and that learning would have to happen at home. If someone had said that to me, I think I would have asked, what sci-fi movie have you been watching? Where are you getting these predictions? And yet here we are, with all of these features as a reality here in Lyle, throughout our country, and around the globe. I don't need to tell you that we are living in exceptional, challenging times that we hope are short-lived, especially as we hear hopeful news of vaccines that are going to be produced Vaccines that will help combat this pandemic that's trying to cripple us and take advantage of our vulnerability. We would be blind and obtuse, however, if we failed to recognize the remarkable lessons that right now, lessons of resilience, adaptability, and ingenuity that our students are teaching us. These children, day after day, walk these hallways of a Catholic institution spaced apart with masks on without a word of complaint or protest. Not only because they tend to be more flexible than many of us adults, but because they recognize the value of their education. Even if they can't put it into words, something deep within them tells them they need to be here. And I believe most, if not all of us, pastor, principal, parents, teachers, want them here as well. And so I come to you, our parishioners, asking you to consider a gift to this year's annual school appeal. Since our parish was founded 97 years ago, our parishioners have always cherished this educational apostolate. We've seen it as one of the most significant contributions that we make to the wider church. And if we believe that our students should be here, which they have been all year, and we want to keep them here, then God is giving us this opportunity to make that happen. A portion of the appeal proceeds will go towards technology here, Chromebooks, laptops, updating the smart boards, online learning, because this is one of the ways we have of staying active in our endeavors to have our students prepared, both in school and out of school with the latest technology. We are living at a time in history when the only way we will survive this is through sacrificial giving in some form or another. And when you think of it, why shouldn't that be the case? Since sacrifice is at the very heart of our faith, a faith made visible in Jesus Christ. May this gracious Lord and Savior bless us all. May he empower us not just to survive this time of challenge, but to thrive on account of it.